So everybody, how's it going? Coming to you a little later than usual. I was having some audio problems earlier. It's fixed now. Today I'm going to do a review of Sweat. That's the native token of Sweat's economy. This project did a 15x on exchanges a few days ago when it came out. The hype is real in a bear market. It's very impressive. Find out what it's all about in today's episode. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about Sweatcoin. Let me know where you think the price action is headed. Without further ado, let's begin. So... Sweat Economy, what is it? Well, they are the number one most downloaded health and fitness app in the world. So that's the most downloaded, not the most used, but it's still impressive. They're the number one finance app in 25 different countries. So that's impressive. They have 137 million users registering a total of 26 billion steps in the seven to eight years the company's been in existence. They were founded in 2015. I hadn't really heard of them beforehand, even though there's a ton of use. I think they have a big following in third world countries like Philippines, to a lesser extent, Portugal and Poland. But it says they're also big in the U.S., Australia, Belgium and the Netherlands. Before we go further, let's break it down. Sweat economy versus sweat coin versus sweat token. What is the difference between all three? Sweat economy refers to the collective ecosystem. That's the app where you move around and earn tokens. And then, so Sweat Economy is the app combined with the two tokens in the app. And then from there, the two tokens are Sweat Coin. So that is the coin that you earn through downloading the app and moving around. And then Sweat Coin, you cannot exchange on exchanges, but you can trade it into Sweat Tokens in the app. And then Sweat Tokens, those are traded on exchanges. So you can convert to fiat or other tokens from there. Now you can also hold your sweat tokens and earn rewards. You can earn plastic bottles, I guess, to work out with. You can earn nectar energy sachets, whatever those are. You can earn, earn noise canceling headphones. That's pretty cool. You can also stake your tokens and earn staking yields. I couldn't find too much information on the staking yields. So if you're interested in that, definitely do some due diligence. You also earn rewards through staking beyond the yields, for example. Lower transaction fees, it increases your daily minting limits, and it unlocks certain premium features not available to anyone else. There's also anti-fraud mechanisms. This is important because Stepin has been you know, plagued by cheating problems, fraud problems. So a lot of people try to like shake their phone to get more step steps that way. Nope, Sweat Economy has mechanisms to prevent that. Some people attach the app to their dog and let the dog walk around and accrue more steps. Nope, Sweat Economy has anti-fraud mechanisms to prevent that. Now, how much can you earn? That's the question on everybody's mind. Well, so the average person, it says, walks 1,000 steps in 15 minutes, and then you earn one sweat coin, which is around $0.08. Cents. So that doesn't sound like a lot, but for me, I walk much faster than this. I walk 1,000 steps in about five minutes. So if I, in an hour, then I'll walk, you do the math there, you know, maybe a thousand to 10,000 steps or 70,000, whatever it is, that comes to closer to a dollar in an hour. And then if I'm walking around the whole day, if I'm working a job where I'm just on my feet the whole time, then that totals up to $5, $10 a day. So again, for the, you know, some people might not be interested in those rewards, but if you're in a third world country, that money goes very far. If you're a high school student or a college student is always walking around a college campus, then this can really add up. It can be worth it for you there. The company does earn rewards. They have a revenue generating model. So all transactions, for example, in-app purchases or NFT purchases, the company takes a percentage fee of that. And then all transactions on exchanges, trading into other tokens, converting to fiat, the company takes a percentage share of that. But they do burn a certain percentage of the revenue. A lot of projects have this we see. Now the burn, it's designed to reduce the supply, which should increase the price of the token. And that has happened successfully with a lot of projects like Terra Luna Classic recently. Price and metrics. So it's kind of a small cap coin. They don't list the market cap. But so far it's ranked 2,600. That might go up when the market cap and supply becomes more available in the second or third week of being on exchanges, but we'll see about that. So it's an ERC-20 token. It's on the near blockchain. So that's kind of cool. Near. And then, so I always look at the plus two minus 2% 2 depth to see how thin the liquidity is. This means that if you're trading on OKX, for example, you can throw in around $20,000, buy or sell at a time at market value 
without being affected by slippage. So this shows this is, it's not thinly traded at all. There is a lot of volume there. So I think that market cap and rank is going to go up and increase as the token supply becomes a more available. Now, what exchanges is it on? KuCoin, Gates, FTX, Bitfinex, MEXC, OKX, Bybit. So the more appropriate question is, which exchanges is not on? Coinbase, Binance, and Crypto.com. This is good. Because the fact that it's on FTX shows they like the project, meaning Coinbase and Binance, Crypto.com, they're also going to be interested in it, probably because FTX is interested in it. And as we all know, when a project gets listed on a big exchange, like Coinbase and Binance especially, the price pumps. So this is good news that they're not listed there. And the fact they're already on so many big exchanges and only three days of trading shows this project's very organized. They have a lot of good backing behind it. And then the price. I'm going to drink, drink a water here. <coughs> so it came out three days ago on exchanges. First day, it did a 15x. This is amazing. Most projects tank the day they get listed on exchanges because obviously so many coins become unlocked. And usually the team members' tokens, they like to trade immediately and cash in some of their hard worked profit for getting the project to that point. Not, not sweat economy. Up 15x, gave up a few of those gains. And then has kept going up since then. So people are not selling their coins. It shows there's probably some generous vesting. Not a lot of coins are unlocked. That is the case. We'll get into that later. Let's look at the team. So it looks like a small team. Only seven employees on LinkedIn. It's probably more than that. Based mostly in Europe, Portugal, UK, Swansea. That's in England. Their founder, Oleg Fomenko. He has been with the project since inception in 2015. He comes from big corporate experience, Coca-Cola, Visa. He used to work at in Pepsi. Anton, he also used to work at Pepsi in addition to Reebok. He has a Stanford MBA. So these guys are kind of sort of cookie cutter, you know, corporate America types, big companies. Which is good because then there could be future partnerships with any of these companies if the products align. And those are big names, which would definitely react, the market would react favorably to. Let's look at the fundraise. So they did a public sale last week, only $2 million. It sold out very quickly. There's a lot of interest there. And only 35% became unlocked uh, token generating event on Tuesday. So that means only $700,000 of the IDO is unlocked at this point. And then they also did a private round and a seed round. So these are much bigger, 6.7 million and 10 million. These, none of these became unlocked this week at the token gener generating event. And none of them are becoming unlocked for another 12 months. <coughs> Excuse me. This is good. It means of the 18 million total, only about 700,000 has become unlocked. And nothing more is going to become unlocked for another nine months. So it's looking very good for the next nine to 12 months, this project. So who got in on the early two rounds at Jump Capital, Spartan Group, Electric Capital, OKX, GSR, Jump Capital, a big one there in Chicago, it's New York, it's Singapore, it's like Hong Kong. So sort of medium sized, but well-known, um, mostly crypto VCs here. Not like a ton of investors too, just five, keep it more organized. Here's the rest of their token allocation. So 25% to the community. So that all became invested, unlocked immediately early this week. But those people clearly aren't selling because the price did not go down. So I think at this point, the community members, they're curious about the project. They're figuring out, you know, can I make a lot of money from this app? Can I not? And then if I do decide to use the app and make a lot of money, then, you know, should I hold on to the money? Like, could the price go up or should I sell it? So I think for the next few months, definitely the curiosity factor is going to win out and people are not going to be selling too much. Partnerships. So current, their Sweat Coin, this is before the crypto element, the Sweat Coin is partnered with OKCupid, Headspace, Audible, and Title. I didn't see too many big name partnerships on the Sweat Economy, the crypto portion as of yet. But I think just the fact their founders come from big companies and they already have, you know, big companies in the mix, then I think uh, big name partnerships are definitely going to be in the fold later. Buzz. So CoinMicroCrap, I always go to the co the comment section. It's usually to the right. And then I click on latest. I just like to see what people are saying. This is what the retail people talk about. So see their you know, every few minutes, a couple of comments are talking about price action, mostly bullish. This goes to show that the retail crowd is very interested. They're talking about this project, which considering you're in a bear market, that's pretty impressive. So that's it. So, yeah, I think just, you know, given the fact that <clears throat> this project in a bear market has performed amazingly, that's great. I think there's a lot of buzz so far. 
I think for the next few months, it's looking very good, at least. Uh, you know, very few coins become invested, and there's the curiosity factor where users are figuring out whether this app is worth it to use, can they make a lot of money or not. And until they figure that out, I think the price is going to at least remain flat or at least go up. There's not going to be too much selling going on. So I'm very bullish on this project. <clears throat> Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know what you think the price of sweat will do. Be back tomorrow with a new episode. Ben Crypto signing out. Later.